So what is it? Am I taking too long? Are you waiting for me? If it's a warm, hot day, this is the grandest trail. It's cool. This is the spring-fed spot where uh, it feeds Tugman Lake. I'm going to tell between the distance there. You can see the lake or not, but I certainly can see the spring water. Cody's been giving me hell for taking my time doing photographs as opposed to getting with it on the trail. <laughs> I wanted to capture that. It's kind of cute the way that he uh, the way that he gets really excited and carried away. Giving me holy heck for not, for not getting with it getting with it on the road here. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. It is not to fear. Where we just came from is that point. Right there. Coming around to the side of the lake now. Wish I'd film more of it for y'all. Well next time.
I was doing a lot of stills. Beautiful area back in there for still photography. I mean, the way the shadows and an almost tunnel effect of the growth around the trail. It's weaves and corners. It's really quite a fascinating trail to walk. Well, I was over at that point, the uh, waves were just slapping up against it. It looks calm here because it's sheltered through the cove to my left. But uh, it uh, really was an area of a wild ride for a kayak. A good lot of fun. I want to get me a kayak that is and durable and can, can take on a little white water. Get out of there! What do you think you're doing? You don't do that. No. Go! Go! Come here. Let me check you out. There. Huh? Make sure you don't have no ticks. Oh. Okay. log. Here at the boat launch. And out over there is the uh, fishing dock. Do you want we should go? Okay. Oh, oh your door's locked. There you go, pal. You got it. Oh, oh, excite. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness, we're so excited. <laughs> Mark the first spot, buddy. Come on, let's go climb a tree. Huh? Let's go climb a tree. Oh boy. Come on. That's what. This tree right here should do it. God boy. Hup. Hup, 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 hup. All the way up. Good boy. Go over the hurdle. Trail Cody. Trail obstacle. Trail obstacle. Trail obstacle. Don't give me, don't you give me shit. Up, up. Come, up, up, come on. <laughs> what, am I supposed to do it first? That was cheating. That was cheating. This way, come here. Come on, let's go. Come. 
Round, round, and up, 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 and over. Good boy, next one. Come on, let's go together. Go, buddy, go. Good boy. All right. My goodness, after all that time in the city, left January 9th, excuse me, December 9th to visit family for Christmas. And now we're back at the coast, Central Oregon coast, Tugman Park, not far from my house. Hey, you come this way. And come up and over to the picnic table, too. Good boy. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see. Go up on the other one and wait for me. No. Cody, go up, up and wait. No, the picnic table. That a boy. I guess you get down. Up, 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 up. Get up there. Hurry up. You sit down. Sit. You think you can stay. Oh. You keep bitching, I make you go across the bridge. I know you hate that. Oh. I never heard such a pretty ask. Okay. All right. Wait. No, not this one. I want you to go down the tunnel slide instead. Tunnel slide instead. Good boy. Okay, go back up. Go, go, go. They didn't come down the big one. There. Okay, go. Goodbye. We're off. Let's go see. Oh, look at this, buddy. We got the step program here. The people from the step program. They're working at the fish hatchery here. Fish hatchery, fish ladder. We owe it all to the step volunteers in our local community. Without them, there'd be no fishery here at all. Oregon State Game and a Wildlife and Fish, Fishing Game, Oregon Fishing Game. They do nothing, nothing except sit home and collect their checks. This way, you come. These guys, these volunteers, they do an outstanding job with the fishery. These are volunteer people. I'm just talking on YouTube about how much the community appreciates you guys with all your volunteer work and stuff that you do. The Oregon Fish and Game, has a lot to be desired, and we wouldn't have the fishery if it wasn't for your generous volunteer hours and time. And I just want to let you know a lot of people really appreciate it, and we know we owe it all to you. Uh, you come out here a lot? I do, yeah. Well, you're going to like what we're doing today. Do you mind if this is on camera? No. Okay, what are we doing today? We're putting in a, uh, we're putting a, a camera underneath in our trap. No. So when the steelhead come in, come over here, I'll show you what we're doing. Oh, how fantastic. So the public and all of you, the kids and everybody can walk up to this window. <laughs> this glass will be in here, and we're going to put a TV monitor right here, TV screen. No. And you'll be able to watch the fish swimming in the trap underwater. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's grand, buddy. We had a fellow the other day who's uh, really smart in the camera world, and he donated an underwater camera and everything to us. An underwater camera. Yep. Fact, oh. uh, this gentleman is coming in right here. He. Uh, all right. Okay. So now when you walk up here, you'll be able to look at the window and see all the fish in the trap swimming around. Isn't that, that cool? That is just too <laughs> cool because I, I do come up here all the time. I live in Lakeside. Oh, do you? I'm a homeowner there for the last 30 years. Well, you can thank this man right here. Here, What's your name, sir? Camera. Ian. Ian? Hi, I'm Mike. Ian, nice to meet you. Mike. Hi. Hi, I'm just doing a little... Camera, trying to get it all put in and wired in and put in the trap right now. This is so cool. You know, I've told my, my, my good friends on my, my social media platforms about the work you guys do and how, how what a big bang it makes for what we have. <laughs> and, uh, here, yeah, here. yeah, <laughs> and, and I just... Well, we wouldn't have, have it if you didn't. Yeah, and, 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 and what he told me you're doing, you know, that isn't exceptional. Yeah. 
That's 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 going to bring not only more appreciation, but we do. We yeah. do. We work hard out here. I'll, I'll, as long as we open doors for people, that somebody else opens the door hey. for somebody because of it. Yeah. You know, same kind of basic concept. I, I, people I'm, see good things. I think. It, yeah, and uh, it will bring you guys, you know, untold differing amounts of support. You know. I think that really the TV screen being able to look. I think that's a great idea. It's a great idea. It's oh, really it's good stuff. Oh, outstanding idea. It really is. Look at all the work you do out here. Man, oh man. Are they there? Are they running now? There's a couple in there. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah, I thought the water level was high enough. This is so grand, you guys. Nice to meet you guys. Let's get back to your work. Right. Yeah. Bless you and thank you so much. Have to come back to the Hi, what, What's your name, dear? Darlene. Darlene, I'm Michael. I know. You come to a senior school. Oh, yes, I do. I thought I recognized you. <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah. All right. Tell her to come out here in a few days and hopefully we'll have it up and running. Consider it done. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. That is just... That is absolutely outstanding. That's outstanding. Uh, here I've talked about what these guys do all the time and what the difference it makes and to actually get an opportunity to get those volunteers on camera for a moment like that. What great news. What a major upgrade to this area. That's going to be a boon for the fishery. It's going to be a boon for their support, which makes this fishery. Because I'll tell you what, Oregon Fish and Game fishing license, just a standard fishing license, costs a fortune. And they don't do jack. They don't do jack. And that's about the worst swearing I'll ever do on camera. Seriously. Pretty pee poor organization, Oregon Fish and Game. Excessively priced. Seldom see them out doing anything. Well, guys, I'm going to go tend to that little guy. Give him the many rewards that he deserves. My outstanding solo right hand companion. I'm so pleased that the yellow submarine is working as well as this. It always, it's always worked well, but this is the longest period of time I've gone that uh, I've given it very little direct attention. I mean, you saw all the uh, all the old pine needles on the window blades and stuff, and. Uh, I always, uh, I always condition the gas, of course, but for it to just start up on a bang like that, it's about the, that's about the longest I've gone uh, an entire month without starting the engine, and uh, it's just been sitting there. So I thought I'd give it a go, a cold, and, and see, because that's, uh, I'm usually much more attentive to it. And very pleased, very pleased. There's no stopping that thing. It's a tremendous base camp. It's a wonderful base camp from a backpack, Cody Dog. And we'll use that for a mobile unit to relocate frequently to various base camps in the great wilderness of Oregon. And then from that base camp, I use my backpack and uh, ultralight equipment to do remote backpacking off trail more often than not and man the discoveries I've made in my many years so now I feel it's time to start sharing those my family might be a legacy for them they're just not into it they're city dwellers me 
I'm an outdoor dweller who visits my home. I don't live at my home and visit the outdoors. I live in the outdoors and visit my home. Yep. I have expressed a lot of concerns about my operations being conducted a little bit safer. And uh, they make a good point. I have had some incidents, as many of you know. And uh, so, I decided that I'm not going to change my modus operandi. I've learned from my mistakes. But accidents can happen out there. And the way I do it, I'm, I'm out there so remote and solo, and, uh, you know, I don't have a definitive plan. I have a general idea what I want to do, but new discoveries take me to new places, and that means a left here or a right there or wherever. The contours of the land show me that there's possibilities to be checked out. And so, even if I told somebody where I'm going, it wouldn't make any difference. I probably wouldn't be there anyway. <laughs> so... So I'm going to get a um, probably an in-reach device, and depending on which one I get, I may very well be able to share that tracking with you folks uh, that follow on my channel. I certainly do have some tips and some insights to share. I'm looking forward to doing that. Sweet jewels, hidden little nestles of. Uh, Pacific Northwest Wilderness. Man, there's nothing that uh, seems to touch my heart more fonder than reaching out to creation and the creator who provided the bounty. With the way that things are going in the world, I really feel rushed to see and do all I can, as unfortunately it is so quickly disappearing, is it not? Thanks to corporate interests, we won't go there. Another view of the lake instead of me. There we go. And then back again to these outstanding. access to that dock right now. There is for boats, but not for the walk plank out to the platform that you're looking at there to the left end of the dock. And people can't use that as a congregation. It's nice that a few things are opening up. Seems to me it's being handled uh, reasonably by the governor of Oregon. we got to open up things and get them going, but we've got to be safe in how we go about it. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for now. I'm sure to make a uh, longer, better video here pretty soon. Working on the gear room, getting things ready. Had some grand days locally, boy, I'll tell you. It's been nice here locally. Oh, boy. All right, catch you soon.